This video is being pre-shot for publication on August 9, 2024 at 8 a.m. and can be found in the Artist Appreciation Playlist. This video is dedicated to the memory of David Crosby, 1941 to 2023. Hi everybody, to commemorate the anniversary of the time that I met Crosby and Nash, I um, thought it, be, it would be cool to do a video and tell you the story of that meeting. This was back on August 9th of 2012. and. The boys were, Crosby, Stills, and Nash were on tour to support their just released CSN, CSN 2012 DVD and CD. And uh, I, of course, had never seen them uh, in the Crosby, Stills, and Nash configuration. I had seen Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young uh, Neil Young, of course, and Crosby and Nash, but I had never seen all, um, I had never seen CSN, uh, all together. Uh, and like I said, they were on tour to support the CSN 2012 CD and DVD. So naturally, I was super excited and I begged my mom to get tickets and she did and I don't remember how close we were but I think we were maybe in the second or third row and then I had um, connections uh, through Facebook um, so I was able to I uh, messaged my connection and was able to um, secure backstage passes. And actually, I didn't hear from my connection until the day of the show, like hours before we were to leave for the show. And so I heard from my connection and he said, basically, your passes will be at will call and of course I was so excited beyond excited uh, because meeting Crosby, Stills and Nash um, or meeting Crosby or meeting Crosby and Nash has always had always been a dream of mine and now um, that dream would come true um, and to make it even more special, I was also meeting David's son, uh, James Raymond, who was their keyboard player, or one of their keyboard players. And I had always had this fantasy in my mind of how cool it would be for, da for James to introduce me to his father, David. And so this uh, fantasy sort of came true. Um, but when we got to the when we got to the show, we picked up our passes from Will Call and um, um, and you know got got in our seats. The show itself was amazing. They did a lot from the CSNY, the CSN 2012 DVD. They opened um, with, they opened the same way the um, CSN 2012 DVD opened, which was with Carry On and Questions, which 
uh, has always been one of my favorite CSNY songs and uh, or CSNY and Buffalo Springfield songs uh, which I had always wanted to see them do live and in person now I had seen them do carry on but I've never but I had never seen them do carry on questions except on the DVD and so I was um, I was um, I, I was super excited to to see that but uh, and then one of the highlights for me was seeing Steven do Bluebird which is another one of my favorites um, from Buffalo Springfield's catalog but one of the songs or a couple of the songs that I was not expecting him to do um, were, were Daylight Again and Immigration Man. Now, I had never at all seen them do Immigration Man, so I was like, I was like blown, blown away because um, I had never seen them do Immigration Man, let alone Daylight Again, which, which came out of left field for me because they had, to my knowledge, they hadn't done Daylight Again for years up to that point. And uh, as far as Immigration Man, they had done it on the CS and the CS and my Freedom of Speech tour, but I had never um, seen them do it in person. And so that was that was a highlight for me for sure. But, um, the cut to the end of the show, I, um, you know, I was super excited. I think I may have sweated my backstage pass off my shirt, um, because, uh, I was super excited to be able to go, to go, you know, meet everybody. And, um, but, and I had been, as most of you know, I had been backstage to Starlight for, you know, for several shows, and so it was kind of old hat to me, but this was a very, this was a very special show for me, and, you know, the first person that I got to meet was uh, Graham Nash and I can't tell you I can't tell you how 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 nice he was and how lovely he was he he more than lived up to the expectations that I had heard because I had heard that he was extremely nice and he how lovely he was and he more than lived up to what I what, what I had heard and um, the, the only the only embarrassing um, part of the evening for me was I was so excited that I knocked his beer out of his hand and you know it's it splashed all over my chair and I apologized profusely and he couldn't have been more he couldn't have been nicer about it so the so the story that I like to tell is that I've I shared a beer with Graham Nash and he and you know, one of the one of the first things I asked him, I said, "Can I have a hug?" And he said, "Sure, come here." And so that that um, you know that just proves to me that he is a very 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 nice guy. And um, and you know, but and of course, then I met James. I met James. 
and uh, David and meeting David especially now is something that I'll never ever 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 forget while well, meeting all of them but especially David and James and I was quite surprised how how short how how short David was in person I um, but he was he he was extremely he David was beyond nice to me as well and one of the things that he that he said to me was that they they do this all the time they meet people um, they meet people with disabilities all the time so this was kind of this was kind of the norm and um, I did not uh, mention um, anything about Neil because I think if I remember right they were on the outs with Neil at the time and so I made a, a point not to mention anything about that and I was I was beyond I was beyond thrilled you know um, to finally uh, meet James because I had I had heard and read about him for uh, for years and um, so it was fantastic to be able to uh, put a face with a name and I told and I told all three of them you know David James and and Graham you know uh, how big a fan I was and and how great the show was and you know and um, and um, Graham to show how generous he was Graham actually gave my mom a kiss which um, my mom was back there with me because you know, she she needed to be back there with me but um, they, he actually gave mom a kiss and I was and I was um, super super kind of pleased about that that he was so nice to my mom and um, and uh, one of the other people that I got to that I got to meet again which I had met before was uh, Stephen the Stevie D which who was their drummer I had met him uh, back in 09 uh, when he was out with Long of the Messina on their second reunion tour that they did in 09 mom and I went to um, their show that they did at Amaristar Casino and I got to meet Steve I got to meet Stevie and um, and he was uh, he was really nice then and he was and he was uh, nice to me again uh, when I met him with Crosby with Crosby Stills and Nash um, but uh, so it was like meeting old friend an old friend because we hadn't we hadn't seen each other since 09 when I met him and he was really nice and he he took pictures with mom and I and uh, he took a picture with me alone and and so um, and so he he was extremely nice and um, and you know and he has he has since gone on to be to tour with David Gilmore and other people I think he has toured he toured with uh, David 
uh, for a couple years before David passed away. And, uh, oh, um, one of the coolest things is I had brought a copy of CSN's Allies album for uh, them to sign. And when I gave it to Graham to sign, he said, where'd you find this? This has been out of print, because I guess it had, had been out of print. And so he was, he was uh, super surprised that I had a copy of it, because I guess he hadn't seen one for years. And, but they, but they, uh, but him and David signed it. And actually, I, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna, um, there's gonna be a whole slew of pictures in, in the, in the video, so you can see some, so you can see some of the pictures that, um, that we took. There's pictures of me, uh, with, with David and Graham and James and me with Graham alone. And, um, what, uh, one thing that I would mention is that Graham, you know, I told him that I, you know, I would have loved to have met Stephen. Um, David actually offered to go get Stephen for me so I could meet him, but I I said no, that's okay, because I knew um, that Stephen is hard of hearing or he is extremely deaf, and I didn't want to have to yell to for him to hear me because I didn't want to. I did. I didn't, you know, I would feel that would embarrass him, and so I told him, I told David, no, that's, that's okay, and, because I didn't want to embarrass Stephen, uh, but although it probably wouldn't have embarrassed him, but still, I, I would have felt, like, extremely bad if I would have embarrassed him, but, um, and so, um, I, I just, the, that, the meeting David and Graham and James and, and Stevie was, uh, the whole CSN experience, you know, the show and meeting everybody is an experience that I will carry with me for the rest of my life and I want to thank uh, my mom and my connection for making yet another musical dream of mine come true and I want to say um, to David and Graham or I want to say to Graham, Graham, and to David's memory, that you've, you truly have made a difference in my life for a year, for ever since I was little. You know, I can't tell you how much your music has moved me over the years. You guys are like family to me, and you will, and you always will be. I love you guys with all my heart, and same goes for Stephen. And to David, I miss you every day, and there's not a day that goes by that I don't think of you, and we all miss you like crazy. I love you. There will also be a screen recording of the set list from the show that I saw, so you can see what they uh, played. David and Graham also signed a t-shirt that I, that I had brought 
from a previous CSN tour. I believe either 2000 or 2001. Please disregard the tiny glitch in the video. Thank you.